First of all, there is no such thing as a person of interest. You are either a suspect or you are not. So the district attorney has no right to demand that you talk I, with her. I think Alexis wants to discuss Sam's hit and run. Tell me it wasn't you. It was Monica. Dr. Monica Quartermain hit Sam and then just drove away? <sighs> yes. She, uh, she was drunk. Spinelli found the uh, accident footage on some surveillance. Oh, yeah. I don't need to know about that. What I do need to know is how Alexis found out. Well, uh, Monica got into another drunk driving accident. She went to the hospital and they called the cops. The district attorney would not be wasting her time questioning you about your mother's drunk driving unless she intended on using it as leverage against you for something else. I, I want you to represent Monica, okay? I want you to make sure you do whatever it takes. I don't want, I don't want her going to jail. Defending you and Sonny is one thing. Drunk drivers are quite a nightmare. Yeah, she promised me that she was going to get help. Okay. Yeah, let me see. Um, she's hit rock bottom. She's had enough. She uh, plans on turning her life around, etc., etc., etc. Drunk drivers say that all the time, and sometimes it's even true. But in this case, if it's not... Then maybe a tough sentence is exactly no, 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 what your mother needs. She, she did not start drinking heavily until Emily died. That was not your fault. Jason, what if next time she hits a I child? I told you she was going into rehab, Diane. Don't say that, too. Trust me, she has no choice. Oh. Or you will turn her in. Okay, well, that's very commendable on your part. Did you call your lawyer? To protect his Fifth Amendment rights. I'm not talking to you, not oh. talking to him. These are informal questions. Oh, now you're insulting all of us. Do you know that she's wasting your time? My client has no comment. Are you trying to be difficult? I am doing my job, which you are also welcome to do by admitting that this attempt to circumvent the law has failed utterly and beating a tactful but hasty retreat. Hi, Monica. Hello. You said you wanted to see me? Uh, I'll get out of your way. Uh, n no. Would you stay? I, uh, I might need a witness. You mentioned that this was about Sam's hit and run accident? Yes, actually something I should have come for a bit long time ago. Hello, ladies. This conversation is now over. Dr. Quartermain, not another word. Ms. Davis, my client, has suffered blood force trauma to the head. She is heavily medicated and is therefore not responsible for anything she may or may not have told you. Why did you hire Diane? Don't answer that. Jason Morgan has hired me on well, his mother's behalf. You did this to me. You're the driver who has Sam? Well, well, that's it so lucky. Were you drinking? Don't answer that. Dr. Cordeman needs her rest, I believe, doesn't she? Oh, no, you know about this. It's called obstruction of justice. There's no obstruction of justice. Thank <laughs> you. 